Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done one of these update videos on how my recovery process is doing. Um, I've left it a long while just simply because that I wasn't really seeing many changes every day and every week, and you know it's been a it's been a very long process. I mean, we're four months, nearly five months into my recovery from my total parotidectomy, and currently I'm going through radiotherapy, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But first, um, I'm just going to go through the what's changed, so I can I can smile now. I can blink my eyes fine, whereas before I couldn't really do it. I can move my eyebrows around as well, so I've got a good fair amount of movement come back. It's still a little bit slow, like if you watch, <laughs> I'm doing this with my eyebrows, you'll see there's like a little bit of lag. <laughs> anyway, I can take a bit of delay uh, with one of them there. Um, well, that's fine, I can live with that. I mean, I'm just happy that I got my smile back. It's, it's still not perfect, so if I do things like pat my lips, it's still, you can see, I can't quite control this bit properly still but um I, it's so much better than what it was i can drink i can eat i can rinse my mouth and nothing's like it, you know when you're sort of like rinsing your mouth or mouthwash and you're trying to sort of swirl it around it's like it's firing out everywhere because you can't close your mouth properly so all that kind of stuff's okay now so i'm not really having any trouble um as i say i'm currently going through radiotherapy and that's just to ensure that it the chances of it ever coming back, my cysts, are very low. I mean, there's still a chance they'll come back, but it's significantly lower than me to not than not having radiotherapy. And uh, so how am I coping with that at the moment? It's, uh, well, I'm past the phase that people generally kind of call it the honeymoon period. The first two weeks of radiotherapy, you, you just feel like, oh, you, you know, you feel a little bit sore, and not, not nothing like just a minor sunburn and whatnot. And in yourself, you might feel a little bit tired, a little bit... I feel, I feel a little bit queasy from it. It makes me feel a bit nauseous. Um, but the first two weeks, you feel like, yeah, I can take it on. It's not going to be a problem. You know, this is easy. And I've been told <laughs> by a lot of people that I've spoken to that have had a lot of treatments. I've got to have 27. I've spoken to people that have had 30, uh, 25 and all that. And after the first two weeks, the, the effects are delayed on radiotherapy. So you feel it after those two weeks so this week and next week are when I'm really going to start feeling all the effects and getting like the blisters hopefully not but uh, get blisters in my mouth and sores and uh, I've already started getting some of the side effects now actually where my hair has started to come out on my beard I mean I can literally just touch it and a little piece will come out you know and I had a wash earlier and all this came off it's only the last two days that this is this has happened where this has all started falling out whether or not it will grow back, um, it should grow back, but it might not grow back as thick as it was, or it might grow back a little bit curly, but we'll wait and see with, over time with what happens with that. Um, so with radiotherapy, the only real, because I'm, I'm fairly young, I'm, I'm 30, so that's pretty young if you're, you know, going off, um, you know, like 60, 70 plus, the majority of people that the radio therapy sessions and stuff I've seen, they've all been a lot, lot older than me. Um, so they don't have to worry as much, so much about long-term side effects. Whereas because I'm younger, I have to keep an eye on things. So my teeth, I've got to, um, you got to always make sure that you're going to the dentist regularly and keeping a checkup on your teeth and going to doctors for checkups as well. Because in the long term, in like 15 to 20 years, I could develop cancer from having this it's a very small chance of it happening but it's still a risk associated with radiotherapy and things with my teeth as well like it'll be more prone to decay on this side and, and other problems and things like that so it's just i've got a lot of things to look out for but generally speaking i'm feeling okay i'm feeling a lot better than i did do when i was um you know in the last video when i couldn't move my face and that, that was a really tough stage going through all that and it took about three months to get to where I am now considering we're four and a half and five months in um, it took quite a while to get to this stage and I didn't do any sort of exercises or anything like that I just got a lot of sleep ate a lot of chicken and just kind of just rested a lot took it easy you know um, so that's all I can tell you guys at the moment I mean that's where I'm at and um, I'm 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 one of the luckier few that have recovered more of their facial movement back as some people that you know they still can't quite close their eye and do other things um which is sad I mean I I hope that you know things get better for them I mean I I'm in 
I've had a lot done. I've had quite a lot of cysts and stuff removed, and obviously my whole gland as well. So, um, but there are some people that have got it a lot worse off. Um, now, if you're interested in sort of, if you're about to have a, like a, a surgery, even if it's just a, a partial parotidect, or partial, you know, parotid surgery or total parotidectomy or whatever, then there is a Facebook group called Parotid People, and um, if you search for it on there, you'll be able to join. You have to answer a few questions before you join from the admin, but um, yeah, there's low, there's thousands of people on there, and we all talk and just, you know share our experiences and anyone that's about to have the treatment or you know um they're in the process of getting diagnosed with cysts or tumors cancerous non-cancerous whatever and then there are people there that will talk to you and share your experiences and give you some advice on what you should look out for and give you tips on how to deal with things and just support each other so be sure to check that out i'll leave it in the link below and uh, thanks for watching guys i'm going to keep this short because it's six minutes now <laughs> It's quite a long video and I will see you next time. I'll, I'll get a video. I'll try and get a video of me actually getting radiotherapy delivered. It's crazy. I have to wear this mask. It looks amazing. So I'll, uh, I'll try and get that today. So I'll see you later.